Hello, Internet. It's I, the one, the only, Tsuri Kodomo, or Third or Sharp, however you want to call me. And it is 2017. This is the beginning of the year, so to all of my viewers, the very few that I have, the 40, 40 what, 42 subscribers I have, thank you. And I really hope to plan on making more videos, more better quality videos, and try to keep up with my posting for this year. Speaking of which, everybody seems to, year after year, everybody makes New Year's resolutions, and they never seem to keep them. Me, yeah, I was told myself I was going to clean my room up, so, yeah, just in case people try to come over, it won't look like a freaking pigsty. And I see myself kind of slipping into the, eh, I'll do it later, eh, I'll do it later pattern. So, I'm going to fall back on to one of my old tricks that I learned while I was in Japan, you see. There was times where I had did laundry and I just didn't really feel like folding it up and stuff. I just felt like coming in, laying down, and going to sleep. However, I, well, no, there's no however. It was, it, it was just that. And I was like, you know what? I, I, I really need to take care of this. So what I started to do, what I started doing was, I take the clothes after I finish in the um, laundry right before I left the very next day. Right before I left, I go and dump all of the clothes out on top of my futon. Because sometimes, you know I mean, yeah, sometimes I'll put my futon up and sometimes I wouldn't. Most times I didn't, I just was like, oh, it's just right there, ready for me to sleep in, oh. But, yeah, besides that, I went and dumped my clothes in the middle of my futon. So, I was like, yeah, I already know what's going to happen. I'm going to come in, I'm going to try to lay down, but I'm going to see the clothes, and I have no choice at that moment but to do the clothes, but to fold my laundry. And yeah, it works. So, this is my advice to you all for the New Year's. If you're gonna try to do something like keep a plan or a resolution or something, do something to force yourself to keep that. It will work, trust me. <sighs> And on other news, yeah, I went and checked on the status of some paperwork from the VA and everything, and that's going on. Well, I'm just expecting a, uh, they told me to expect a phone call from them really soon. And yeah, make sure that I go to the appointment. So, yeah, hopefully that will go well and I'll be able to get the benefits I need so I can be able to go to school in Japan. I really want to do that. I truly want to do that. Because, yeah, in high school, basically... Before I even decided on a career or anything, I was like, well, I don't really care what I do. As long as I can do it in Japan, as long as I'm making an honest living in Japan, everything will be fine. And I still kind of feel that way. So, yeah. But hey, I actually passed the qualifications to actually 
get a job working at a pizza place <laughs> over in Japan because I worked at a pizza place for over three years. Well, yeah, I worked at fast food or something. Yeah, pretty much over three years doing this. So, yeah, I can, <laughs> if need be, I can go and get a work visa working, making pizza, whatever. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that would be kind of cool to do, but <laughs> I'm going to have to need, it's going to have to be a very, really high paying job if I do that. But I, I really want to go to school. So, yes. I promise that after I get this things said and done as I'm doing the process for the student visa that I will do a video explaining the process and how to get your student visa for Japan all in another country <sighs> all right I'm passing by a funeral home that funeral home, that place right there, it's funeral home. Hello. No, YouTube video. <laughs> no, I'm pointing back behind me. <laughs> I don't know you, um, so I won't video. I, don't, I won't get you. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's just something else too. It's a, if you got a misunderstanding with somebody, just make sure you work through that misunderstanding. But yeah, anyway, this funeral home is actually my uncle's. And yeah, he's it was technically my uncle because this is my cousin's father funeral home. Even though he's retired, his name is still on it. Pretty cool, huh? And yeah, morticians, they make a pretty decent amount of money. Well, <laughs> decent my ass. Um, they make a shit ton of money. <laughs> Cause people die all the time. Me, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. They'll be like, hey, why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? go into the mortuary business? Uh, I don't know. It's because it's a lot of reasons. And this is one of the things why I find that America is so messed up because we're going to end up running out of space because people die. And what, what is the First thing everybody wants to do after the person die. Bury them in a nice casket. Have a funeral. And all of that stuff. Yeah. Here's a little tidbit of a fact. People didn't really start using embalming fluids and stuff until President Abraham Lincoln died and they wanted to take his body on tour for like this mass funeral or something. I don't know. Please fact check this. Please, please fact check this. This is a new year. Do not let it be like last when people just accept all kinds of information and just go go along with that without checking for the facts. Uh, people, please let 2017 be the year that we check our facts. And also let 2017 be the year that we see things and call it out for what they really are. 
because people lie, people take advantage of other people and they will use any means of doing so. So, yeah. If anything, please teach your kids common sense. I mean, it's, it's great to have faith in people, but <laughs> blind trust is something else. And the blind trust can only be left for like freaking de de deities and higher beings and stuff. That's that's where you should only leave your blind trust with. I know what y'all are gonna say. What do you? What about your loved ones? What about your girlfriends and your wives and your lovers? Hey, guess what? They're human. They can lie too. You can't trust them. I mean, shit. I got a fucking gut punch around the end of the year last year. And yeah, it's gonna take me a while. To, it's still gonna take me time to fucking get over that shit. My girlfriend left me for somebody else. I'm gonna have to get over that shit. <laughs> I have to become better and stronger. As much as I would like to say that 2016 sucked, sucked a bag of dicks, I can't really say that because for one thing I got to live in Japan for seven months if that's not anything good I don't know what is and yeah I mean I actually got out. You know, I was able to visit Korea twice. I had to visit Japan. <laughs> I got to visit Japan last year. I mean, yeah, even though that was the highlight of my on 2015. I mean. It, you know that was the highlight of my year for 2015 and 2016 I what else can I say <laughs> well I am getting closer to the destination called work yay and I am just hoping that by this time next year, I will be in Japan. Well, there's no hope. There's no hoping. That's another thing. People, stop saying, well, I'm hoping or I'm wanting. No, don't say that anymore. Say, I'm doing this. This is going to happen. So... I'm gonna go ahead and make this proclamation right now. This time, next year, I'm gonna be in Japan. Will I have a girlfriend? Hopefully. I don't know. But I will be in school. All right, I'm going to end this video. So, <clears throat> to all of you who are watching thank you and have a good year I will see you when I see you peace